What'll happen is, as he comes forward, the distance is the same. As he comes, one, bash, into the side. That's what it is, yeah? And I'll swap me, yeah? But as he comes out there, this way. Okay guys, so now what we're going to work on, okay, is all, all the basic kicks that we've done, we're going to work on it from a defensive point of view, alright? So what I'm going to do quickly is revisit uh, our defensive side kick, which we did on the previous volume, okay? So, basically, what I want to do is control distance. If my opponent is an aggressive opponent, okay, and he's coming at me a lot or whatnot, okay, to land this defensive side kick, okay, what I want to do is not put myself in a really bad position where my kick is going to get squashed and I'm going to get landed on. So how I do that is when he's attacking me, when he's actually just coming forward, okay, I want to move my back foot okay, at the same time as he's coming. So what will happen is, as he comes forward, the distance is the same. Okay? It's still the same distance. Because he would be attacking me, that's obviously because that's why I'm moving backwards, he will be outreached and vulnerable, okay? Because his shots now will be falling short because I've moved backwards out of the way. What I don't want to do, okay, is move my front foot, okay? Like I explained in the um, in, in the stances section, okay? If he comes at me and I move my front foot to get out of the way, I'm, 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 I can't do much from here, okay? I'll either get double swept, okay? Or I'll get drilled in the face. I'll just get smashed to pieces, okay? So it's important to control the range that I move this back foot. Let's just edge back a little bit, okay? So, as he comes at me, I'm not gonna throw a shot, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it real time so that you can see how the distance is controlled. So, I'll be on my toes, okay? As soon as he comes at me, whoa, okay? I'll still keep maintain the safe distance just by pushing off my front foot and moving back one keeps me in a safe distance, okay? So now, we'll revisit the side kick. So, as he comes at me, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the exact same push. As soon as my foot hits the floor though, my chamber will go up and that's when I'll pop the side kick, all right? So, as he comes at me, one, bash, and that's when I'll hit the side kick, okay? So watch again. As he comes, one, bash, hit with his side kick. Now the good thing about a side kick is, if I land it flush, it's either gonna close line in or fold in, okay? If I don't, I can, so just cut, if, if I don't and he's here, I can use it as a push off, okay, and escape out the way. All right, so it is, it is a good technique to use. Like I said, we, we've done that in a previous video. So controlling the distance by moving the back foot, okay, which gets you into a safe distance where I can pop the side kick out, okay? Now, on to the next technique. The roundhouse kick works in the exact same manner, all right? Now, as he comes at me, okay, now, like I, like I explained, sometimes I'll throw this roundhouse kick to the front of the face when my toes curl back, okay? I'll make sure though, when I do throw this kick, that my kick is going true centre towards him, okay? So I won't allow my kick to do this and go off over there. See how it went over there? I'll make sure that my kick goes true centre. As I move back, it'll go true centre this way, so they flatten my foot up towards his face. So basically, it's going to hit him flat in the face, all right? So as he was to come at me, you don't need a pad for this, I'll stop it before it hits you. As he comes at me, I'm back, bosh, this way, and I'll hit with a roundhouse kick. Okay, if you notice, it wasn't a side kick. Okay, roundhouse kick, bush to the flat of the face, and you know what it's gonna do, okay? So, that's for the alternative roundhouse kick, okay? For your standard round kick, all the mechanics work the same. It's just the end, okay, that's different, all right? On this, on this one, what I'll do, I'll point my toes and the kick would come all the way around. So it won't come up straight to the face, it'll come round this way, okay? So, as he comes at me here, bosh, this way, and back out, all right? Now, what I do after it is a pendulum, okay, after I've hit with a shot. Because I've hit with this kick, okay, so I've, I've, I've controlled distance, okay, I've moved back, I've got one foot up in the air, it's hitting, okay, now what I do is this foot comes out and that pendulum's out. So I'm still maintaining a safe distance, okay, so it's a pendulum effect. That's on the roundhouse kick. So as they come, my back foot moves first, one, bam, pendulum, and I'm safe, okay. That's on the roundhouse kick. Defensively, throwing the roundhouse kick from your back foot. Okay. Now, I have a way that I do this. I, I call it the on-the-spot switch kick. Okay. So what I do when I'm this range, as they come at me, okay, I, th I try and aim towards the jawline with it. Basically, space equals time, as we know. So I don't want to be going too high with it. I just want to catch them with it. All right. So as they come, 
I'll pull my front foot to where my back foot is, okay, and I'll swap feet, okay. So as he comes at me, this way, okay, and as you can see, it whips in, okay, and you'd be surprised how many people you'll catch with it. It looks like a jump roundhouse kick, but it's not. A jump roundhouse kick, okay, what they'll do, they'll get a high chamber, bam, this way, it's not that, okay, and basically, as they come at me, I'm whipping the, I'm whipping it through from, I'm keeping low, I'm not jumping high, okay, so as he comes, this way, I'm keeping low with it, and snatching it and whipping it in, okay, so that's from the back foot, alright, I never really want to do this, okay, if he attacks me, I never want to step, and throw the kick, this way, reason being is, as I explained earlier, I never want to bring my feet together because if he's fast, bam, I'm nailed here and then I'm in a right mess, okay? So, I throw the whip kick. The whip kick, it doesn't have to go to the head, okay? You can throw it to the body as well, okay? So from here, I switch my feet as they come, okay, so I'm at this distance, okay? I see him coming, this way, I whip that kick in, all right? So that's your defensive roundhouse kick, okay, with the back leg. All right, now, oop kick. Defending that oop kick. I fight side pull when, I'm, when I've been throwing my oop kick. If I'm gonna defend with it, there's a couple of different things that I'll do with it, okay? Now, depending on rule set, okay, when we're sparring, okay, sometimes I'll throw the oop kick to the inside of the leg though, okay? It, it buckles them, okay, it buckles them quite a bit, all right? I'm not gonna show you that now, because it's simple, okay? I'm gonna show you the, the true defense, okay? So what I'll do, same thing applies, he comes at me, my back foot moves backwards, which creates a space to land the hoop kick, okay? And I pendulum out, all right? Now, something else that I'll do from this position is I won't always push my back foot straight back in a straight line. The reason being is, because my chambers come up, come up this high and my foot's come round, okay? If he's coming at speed, okay, he can get inside that kick, okay? So basically, he can get, he can get around my hamstring area if he's coming really, really fast. So what I'll do, okay, I'll step my back foot out at a slight angle. So as he comes at me, I'll come this way, bam, and off, okay? So if he's coming forward, he's got to totally change direction to come at me, and in the meantime, boof, I'll catch him flat, okay? So I'll do that in a straight line so that you can see from here, okay? So if I go straight, I, it does work, going in, back in a straight line, okay? So I can go back in a straight line, throw the oop kick, okay? Back foot goes first, one, oop kick, and pendulum out, okay? Second one, okay, as I push my back foot, I push it back off line one, bam, and hit them this way, okay? On that one, the second one, you will hit with a heel, okay? Just because of the way that your foot's coming up and whatnot, okay? And they're coming square, and all the catches them flush in the face with that. So I push my back foot just out behind me on an angle as they come at me, then I launch the kick, okay? Now, defending an oop kick from the back leg from that position is something that I won't do, okay? If somebody's attacking me, I'll never go with such a such a big technique like that, okay, to defend myself, okay? It's got to come basically from point A to point B being his head, and he's attacking at speed, it's got to go two and a half metres, okay? So that means by the time I get to about there, whoosh, I've been nailed, okay? So I'll never defend with a back leg oop kick. If I'm gonna use a oop kick for defence, it will be in front of me, and I will control the distance with my back foot, okay, by pushing it out at a, at a similar speed as he's attacking me, so the distance is the same, so I can gauge it better. It does, like I said before, it doesn't always have to go back in a straight line neither, okay? I can push it off on that angle, which keeps them guessing. It opens up more angles for you as well, okay? I do prefer the second one where I don't push back in a straight line. I push back off on a slight angle, okay? Hit it with a heel.